The fact that we have 10 years of Chris history to cover fills me with both excitement and terror. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we're so behind. This is like 2009. We're, we're still like a solid like decade and a half. Part 19. So close, man. We're going to get to part 20 in the next stream. That's ridiculous. Christian created the YouTube account Clyde Greg Cash Maze to further instill fear into the troll Greg Maze slash Clyde Cash by attempting to blackmail him with fake info he had acquired, which he Absolutely believed to terrifying. be true. Chris made a threatening video directed at Liquid Chris, throughout which a heavy metal song which Christian took from the video game Brutal Legend can be heard. Well, Mr. Chris, we talk again. I'll tell you what, I've heard that you've been bothering Casey. I'll no. tell you, not cool, dude. Not cool. <laughs> it's one arms. thing to break your promise to her, but when you go pestering her like you've been doing lately, yeah, you cross the line. So you best stop Nice what guy, doing. Chris. Because believe me, you don't want to make me very angry. You don't want to get on my bad and side. Believe me, I'm on the verge of such. <laughs> so there. Bring out the goblin. Just back Bring off. out the demon in you, dude. Just back off, man. <sighs> On that same day, Liquid Chris Liquid. made a video for Christian, intimidating him to leave Casey alone while displaying some martial arts moves reminiscent of those previously acted out by Christian himself. I'm coming for ya! This is great. I am the only one here who is fit for Casey. And another thing. Uh, yeah, and this one's for you. We're so out of breath. This is amazing. A real deal. <gasps> no, no. Earthy, no. Oh, by the way. That's hilarious. Chris, <laughs> this <laughs> liquid Chris just did this, like, I'm assuming outside of his, like, freaking college campus <laughs> or, like, apartments or whatever. Just in the middle of nowhere, just screaming, curse, yay, ha, me, ha. <laughs> like think it looks pretty like pretty empty it looks like no one's no one's passing by but that is so funny that he's just doing this outside the, the people named jack thaddeus and greg mays who has told me personally that they are going to help me take you down so get ready arch nemesis, arch nemesis. i will be waiting Liquid Chris takes his role way too seriously. And for the rest of you, <laughs> Liquid Chris's curse, yeah, hami, hami, ha, worked. <laughs> Christian responded with an exceptionally musical video. Yo, MC Chris, I'm gonna rap it to you, man. Listen up. I think your video, you lame ass, you done copying this and that. I'm gonna screw you, I'm gonna take you to town. Who do you think you are, Eric Cartman? Screw you, I'm going home. What a what a, what an impression. That's I'm great. Gonna, you threw it all away, man. She left you. Now she's with me. So at this point, you could you just, just dream on. Oh, boys, homie is sweating. So at this point, man, I tell you what you could do with all your notions you had with lovely, good, sweet KC. Bro is a genius. Point, Bro is a creative genius. Look at this. Dream on. Yeah! Cause she and I, we share sweet emotion. I don't know whether or not to be impressed or to cringe. This is so funny. This is creative. He had to, he had to set all of this shit up. He had to think about this. He had to like, he had to kind of script this out in his head and like, think of what to do. And by the way, this is you know crazy. What? I respect this. Version, I will kick your ass, I'm crazy. <laughs> we get it, Chris. We get it. We get it. <laughs> Bro, when God, you know. Come on. You come find me in person, <laughs> and I'll this. kick your ass. Come on. He says in, like, preacher outfit and everything. When you meet me in person. Liquid Chris made his oh own diss track in which he rapped <laughs> to the beat of My Name Is by rapper Eminem. In case he doesn't love you. It's true, I checked her email this Tuesday at 7.02 She oh, has wow. more apprehension than someone like you Having a semen and drinking it too 
In orange fancy chocolate syrup you just can't refuse Motherfuckers online think that it cannot be true But you prove them wrong, bottoms up is your motto So it's this goes hard, bro, holy like shit Like a gelato I'm gonna rip off your four inch deformed dick Shove it up your ass like a certain medallion Oh that's then good turn you into a murder statistic Because bitch, I'm hot fucking functioning autistic Ow this is fire, guys. Yeah. Yeah, Sanford okay. Dice. Send the, yeah, send the yeah, fire yeah. emojis okay. for this one, man. Yeah, you also on that day, Casey uploaded a video of her singing the female parts of the song A Whole New World from the Disney animation Aladdin and asked oh, that Chris go. complete the duet by singing the male sections and solidify their relationship by doing so. Thinking the video was addressing him, Christian completed the request and uploaded a video of himself singing the male lines of the duet sung over the original song. I can open this is gonna go out well. Take you wonder by wonder. The woman featured in the video is from the cover of the drawing instruction book, How to Draw Manga, Volume 28, Couples, which featured, among other things, instructions on how to draw erotica and even sex between two men. This is in the great. fourth video he uploaded that day, hey, Chris, up, Chris does his best to introduce himself to Casey's parents <laughs> as a prospective partner. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. D. Casey's parents. How are you today? The vibrato is fire. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I am making this video directed to, yeah, directed to you both. You know, I'm definitely better than the. If only Liquid uh, could have covered the Christian this Hedgehog Boys album. I mean, he did a. He did like a little, like a guitar cover of a, of I need a, I need a cute girl or something like that. Is, is that, if that's the song? I am 27 years old. I stand a good 5 foot 10 inches. I'm very strong. Mark, I just did 30 push-ups, which you can see in a recent video on this oh, yeah. YouTube channel. I'm account. sure if the parents see that, they'll be sold. Your I 30 like strokes. I loyal, and reliable. I like to, I prefer to uh, keep a soft-spoken tone of voice. <laughs> But when, but when just, I just, have to, yeah. I can be uh, just, just go back like one episode or a no or two, and you just go get to like Chris just screaming at the camera and beating up his freaking eye toy. Yeah, Rip oh headphones house. users coming. Oh boy. My mother, my mother. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> On November first, Christian uploaded a video in which he attempts to flex his muscles in a threatening way. Believing it would intimidate Clive Cash. Oh, this is intimidating. Dude, he looks so like tough. someone. You think you're so tough? No, you are not. You are weak. He looks like Brendan Fraser. This battle is far from this war is far from beyond <laughs> over, Mr. Clyde. You got nothing. You got nothing. You are weak and very powerless. Why are you speaking like that, I dude? I am a strong one. I am strong! Chris, you're supposed to be you soft spoken, down. man. He uploaded a short clip on his Clyde Greg Cash Maze account of the World Trade Center Twin Towers, which have been shaped from the photo of Clyde and Spider Man, which Chris had been using all this time. Well, oh, wow. Now, Mr. Clyde, your fame. Oh, wow. Your fame and fortune shall fall just like these Twin Towers. Oh, wow, down Chris. With an airplane. Near. Yeah. Christian made an apology video. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the uh, recent video I uploaded, which obviously was a terrible joke. I had no attention. Most of most it, honest of YouTube apology. On such a most honest manner. YouTube apology I was video. Meant only to offend Clyde and to know on how weak he was. I felt I personally feel sad another day of 9/11. I cared about its effects just like the next person. Anybody? I'm seriously. I'm a, I'm a good American. God bless America. God bless America. <laughs> land of the free. And the home of the brave. So again, I am so sorry for making that Photoshop pick and making a terrible joke. I love America. I was born in America, and I'm proud to be an American. Yep. Most but honest anyways, YouTube apology. That, uh, I have thought I have made up an alternate <laughs> joke. Yeah. That is not as okay. that is you. Yeah. Snuff out Clyde because he is so weak. I was it, it's out still the exact same sentiment with like the two freaking things. Come on, Chris. 
Bro, bro kept the joke in the exact same apology. Most honest YouTube apology video I'm telling you right now. Chris had a call with Casey. Hey, Chris, it's Casey. Oh, boy. Hi, Casey. How are you? Um, I'm cool. Um, I'm over at my parents' house because um, they wanted to call. Okay. Because um, they saw some of your videos, and I gave them the letter. All right. Let me go ahead and get my dad for you because he wants to talk to you. Oh, boy. A troll oh, joins the call, assuming the identity of okay. Matthew DeVoy. Yeah. Casey's father. Hello, Chris. This is Matthew, Casey's father. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, uh, looks like I have a couple questions for you. All uh, right. That's fine. That's fine. I'm happy to oblige with an answer, with an honest answer. Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, let's see. Uh, you got a job, son? No. Not currently, but I am working towards getting a job. I have been filling applications left and right. Really, really? What kinds of places? Uh, what kind of skills you got? I'm applying for, like, uh, retail stores and such. I've uh, got an application least, in, least at obvious CBS op. in Rutgersville. And uh, one over at uh, Walmart. And I had one over at Target. Right, that's that's minimum wage stuff. Uh, you, did you go to college or something? <laughs> it's minimum yeah, wage stuff. I went stuff. to college and uh, I got a degree and a certificate in computer a drafting and design. And you're working at Target. You Pretty to crazy work. to think like Chris has a degree, like, like he has an associate's, I believe, and Chris has a freaking has a certificate and stuff. Like that's more that's more than a lot of people can say. Like Chris actually got that shit. You got a degree not knowing what kind of jobs you could get in that field. And you've had it for how long? When did you graduate? I graduated in 2006. And you haven't had any jobs between then? Yeah, I have, I have done volunteer work. What kind it's of volunteer like me work? For... Humor me. Oh, I boy. help the uh, children over at the, as an assistant gym leader for the Pokemon trade card game league. Bro just played back. Pokemon. P Pokemon? And, uh, wait, yeah. that, how long ago was this? I mean, wasn't that like back in the 90s when that was really popular? I, mean, I think my youngest daughter used to like that, but you know, that was... It was the late 90s. It's late still, 90s. That side's still going strong. You've been playing a children's card game for 10 years. <laughs> Well, I, anyways, I'm I'm done talking about uh, dude. He's a, I I, I can't stop thinking about the fact that he sounds like the oh, what's that guy's name from Family Guy? The guy's like, Peter, Peter, Joe so, Swanson. Uh, yeah, he sounds like him. Where are you living at? Yeah, I'm currently. He's living got the exact. He's, he's got the tone, bro. With my mother and my father. Living with your parents, age thirty. <laughs> got it. Almost thirty. The conversation is going very well. I mean, I hope that uh, that doesn't strike you in a bad tune, but uh, I just had not felt like I was ready for a place of my own just yet. You got you got to leave somehow. You got to leave at some point. I mean, you're you're really serious about Casey, are you not? Yes, I am serious about Casey, and with her help, uh, I feel like I could oh, with her help. start on uh, being able hey, to, Peter. Uh, you know, <laughs> shortly in the near future, move out of the house, move with out her of the help, house yeah, and get a place so of my own. You need her help yeah, and, in order to, to support both of you? Yeah, it's I mean, more like, you know, mm, yeah, some details I might not understand, you know. I talk to my parents sometimes about that, but... If you can't support my daughter, my daughter needs a man, a man to support her. I am I am a man, sir. Where's the money going to come from? I do have a, a monthly income. I get, do you uh, now? I get from the government. You get my, my family is a little bit in with the uh, government. Why do you get it? I mean, I'm a, I, you know, I'm a pretty strong Republican. We don't really like that whole <laughs> that whole welfare thing, you know. We work, and if we can't work, we go join the military. Hmm. That's what I did. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, you oh, see, boy. I'm high functionally autistic. Are you now? Yeah. Later. That's a genetic thing, right? I mean, if you're really going to get with my daughter, I don't want hard babies. No, that, no, it's a myth. You say so. Hey, Casey, what uh, what do you know about autism? Is it uh, is that genetic? Yeah, it, it's definitely genetic. Um, it usually runs in the mother's line, but it can be in the father's as well. But it's usually the mother's. Great. <laughs> and, uh, twins have Probably a... best if you adopt it or something. It's it's a good thing, you know. Yeah. In my case, in my case, though, I would not, I would not care to adopt. You see, I have my dream, and that dream is to give birth to, uh, <laughs> to, to give share birth. a daughter with my, 
with my wife to be, and her name would be Crystal. A dream, as in like you were asleep. <laughs> Why and do you, you share saw something. this, dude? Why do you yeah, share this in shit? In a dream, I had like an office job. Yeah, but even so, I mean, you said this all came to you in a dream. I mean, dreams, you know, they don't pay the bills, and I mean, it's just a dream. That's all just from your head. I mean, you think you have some kind of, you know, powers of prophecy? That doesn't seem very. Uh, to me, it doesn't seem very godly. You know? He he then he then went on to declare himself as Jesus Christ reincarnated. Yeah, well, I'm not saying that I'm a prophet. I'm not saying that. <laughs> he but... then went to declare himself as a prophet. <laughs> well, what do you do all day exactly? <laughs> yeah, I get creative. I uh, I like to draw and color, and uh, and sometimes I like to create with my hands. Like you know, I sculpt. Really. I must say I'm not really impressed. Uh, Conversation is uh, great. Uh, let, let's move on. Now let's let's talk about a little bit about what you think about my my lovely daughter. You know what was uh, what was the first thing you uh, liked or noticed about Casey? I noticed her beautiful face. Her beautiful face. Yeah, and her blue green eyes are like a pair a swimming pool that I would just love to W-Riz. swim around and bathe myself W-Riz. in. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, so the first I, thing you I'm notice is her appearance. Yeah, it's like you yeah, know, actually, you're looking uh, for like a yeah. trophy wife or something. It's it's kind of funny. No, I, no, I actually learned first that she was smart and very delightful to talk to. And then after a while, she and I met in person, and then I got to appreciate her face. This doesn't really uh, add up to to what Casey told me. You know, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, so, from oh from boy. the impressions I got from what she said about her first little encounter. We'll call it. Now she said she was a little bit uncomfortable around you, you know. And apparently, when you first talked to her, you know, you actually were pretending to be somebody else. Actually, mayday, you know, mayday, you know, that... oh, yeah, eject, eject. Thing, yeah. You know that Chris, you know, was her boyfriend at the time. You know, <laughs> Chandler put I, all I, of his points and charisma, and it failed. He's, a, he's actually a pretty nice kid. Yeah, but if you notice his YouTube videos, he does get a little crazy. Oh, well, anyway, his, his YouTube videos. For, at least up to a few months ago, where he pretends. But that doesn't that just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, why would he pretend to be you? You know, someone yeah, like you, you know, guy yeah, who but, lives with his parents. Yeah, okay, well, first off, I'm oh boy, here it comes for being the original creator of the. Uh, it's like a combination of Sonic the Hedgehog and Pikachu. You sound like the original creator of Sonic and Rose Chu, the electric hedgehog Pokemon. You that know, I have absolutely way. no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I barely know what Sonic the Hedgehog and Pokemon is other than it's kids stuff. So so basically what I'm getting here is that you took two, like, kids things and put them together. You know, two copyrighted yeah, but, kids yeah, things. And yeah, but it's together. like, you know... Don't you need permission like... for both Sega and... Nintendo. I mean, is that yeah, Sonic yeah, for the sake, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I know a little bit I, about what my daughter used to talk about. Yeah, I have talked to Sega as well. But anyway, getting back to, uh, getting back to <laughs> if I just mention that just briefly, yeah. I've, t- I've talked to Sega. Anyway, okay, yeah, I got okay. I'm cool with them. I got the fans, and then I got uh, na- the nice players, which were the internet bullies and trolls, and. Uh, uh, you know, okay, I'm sorry. This is just getting completely. This ridiculous. is this is everything you should not do when speaking to. <laughs> A, a girl you likes dad or parents you should not bring up that you are internet famous <laughs> or that you, or any of this you should not everything that chris has done so far do not do that <laughs> okay and then, what, and then you you made this sonichu thing i mean it's like uh, this is this, this something something something's not right here you know but but, so but since you did bring dude. up YouTube, I, I got I got kind of an interesting little thing oh, that I noticed in one of oh, your recent boy. videos. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what exactly you were thinking with this. Um, <laughs> you know, you did that video with the uh, 9/11. Uh, I can't say I really enjoyed that too much. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean that hits close to home to me. My mother, yeah. Casey's grandmother, you know, she died on 9/11. I'm sorry to hear that. I did not mean to hit that hit that vast type of emotion. Uh, it was originally intense as uh, a bit of a thing uh, against this uh, longer, worse internet troll who goes by the name of Clyde Cash with an alias of Greg May. You and, made a video basically just trying to trying to mess with some guy 
on the internet that makes fun of one of the greatest American tragedies of our lifetime. No, the Amer- greatest American tragedy of our lifetime. Mm, yeah, but this guy, uh, he's done a lot <laughs> yeah, of things against me. Bro's yeah, justifying it, of course. To... Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Where were you on 9-11? I mean, they say everybody remembers where they were. I was just uh, let go from the uh, panic. my job at uh, Wendy's. It was from differences between me and my employer, you know. Uh, yeah, I you, understand. Yeah, but anyway. Would you like to know yeah, where Casey yeah. was? Casey was at Ground Zero. She was giving blood <laughs> and plasma, volunteering. And where were oh. you again? Hmm. Yeah, I was, I was out shopping with my mom that day. <laughs> uh-huh. Really? That's, yeah. that's wonderful. Wait a minute. Yeah. You said Wendy's before. Are you changing stories on me? Have you been, like, uh, changing no, stories on me through this entire call? Not, no, I am not changing stories. This is the same story. I had just gotten fired from the Wendy's, and I was feeling down. You had been fired from for, Wendy's. I was like, go from Wendy's, and I was I'm telling you right now, wow. if you are speaking to somebody's <laughs> parents, a girl that you like's parents, do not do this. Emotional differences. That's yeah. My my that's my absolutely yeah, my yeah, that's, my, that my just employer. sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Uh, also yeah, sounds a little uh, gay. Uh, <laughs> Good God! I mean, you sound like you're just some simpering little. Your voice is all wavy. I mean, and. Good, good Lord! You want to, you want to date? You want to date my daughter? I mean, you, you're not even giving me an ounce of come respect on, come now. On. Oh come on! I grew up a lot since then. God damn! You just uh, this just sounds like Stop, a bunch of fucking whining. Dead. I mean, you don't even sound like half the man you know that other Chris sounds like at this point. You don't even you don't sound like you're grown up. You play fucking poker. I am. I, 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 I am a grown up, sir. I have moved on from the childish things. No, you you didn't move from po- you went from Pokemon to Sonichu. I mean, well, what the fuck? That's this is still just kid shit. You, I mean, you don't have a job. You're still living with your parents. You're almost thirty years old. I, this is this is ridiculous. I mean, you want to date my daughter? You realize have... she's leagues above you right now. She had a good fiance, and you and you just sit around and play with toys and. What video games? Is that what you buy with your uh, with your welfare money, like Pokemon shit? Yeah, it does kind of sound like Pokemon Plankton. For years, I see sir. it more as Joe Swanson. Okay, so though. what do you play with? <laughs> you you denied Pokemon, but you didn't deny video games. And also, you know what? Another another heavy duty burden I had to I had to take care of. And that my I grandma smoked sweet. Before, <laughs> Thank you, David. My dog died <laughs> years ago. She was a sweet dog. I lifted and carried her doghouse to the site where. We buried her. Her doghouse. I love how the dad is absolutely decimating Chris and he just didn't fold as soon as it started. If I was put in Chris's position, I'd run so far from this all. I know, dude. Me too. I mean, hey, he's adamant. He, he really wants Casey. You know, got to respect that. Like five, <laughs> ten tons. It was very heavy. I carried that God. thing. <laughs> You're talking. You're talking to me about how your dog died. You're talking about someone who has lost friends and family in national tragedy. I had to deal with the loss of my mother, not to old age, but to fucking a plane piloted by terrorists. Yeah. Well, my family. And, yeah, and you're and then but but you know your heavy burden is your dog died. But I'm sorry, but you know, boo. I mean, really, it's. Uh, I've had dogs die. I mean, it sucks, but that's nothing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, well, that's that, yeah. Well, I was very sad when she died. I'm like, sorry. Well, are you mess? Are you messing was, with me? Was, are, are you are you trying to compare? You know, the loss of my mother, the loss of someone who took care of me for years, to a dog. You calling my mother a dog? I am not calling your mother a dog. Uh, <laughs> I had to dig my mother out of the rubble of the Twin Towers. This uh, is terrible. S- sounds like you're fucking with me now. I am not. I am being very honest with you, sir. I mean, how do you think Casey would feel if, you know, if I told about this? You know, how, how do you think she would feel about, you know, you comparing this whole lifting a 30, 50 pound doghouse to, you know, maybe a 100, 200 pound, you know, tombstone? And that doghouse is probably dog what, house. made of wood? No. 
both wood and plastic. That thing had to weigh over a hundred pounds. It was pounds. so unintentionally hilarious. Plastic's Come on, Plastic's pretty man. light, you know. I mean, that's... I'm sorry. This is... This isn't even close to the same. Yeah, well, also, going back to an old topic, that I have been deceived by the trolls. A bunch of them pretended to be women who I thought were honest over the internet when I was talking to them for the first time for a while. Who and, gives and a even, shit about the and, internet? And so the, and so the Be a true man. Women, and those two women died. I was very heartbroken by that. And then I'm I was actually even just more cringing even like crazy. People. I, I, and how many of these women have you gone through? Oh, yeah. Here it is. But there was this one time where I actually thought it was a woman. I actually drove a whole day. These are, this is shit that you should not be speaking to. To a guy that you've barely even met. To a guy that you're trying to impress. Come on, Chris. So you went to go to Ohio for a fake woman. But my Casey just told me that you won't go and visit her. A real woman. And you've met her before, for God's sake. Yeah, well, I mean, I was more naive back then, but I am very less naive now. I am not convinced. <laughs> oh, come on. Bruh. Oh, you yeah. Come on. <laughs> you, know who you're t <laughs> you know who you're talking to, son? What the fuck is this? That you're just talking back to me like a little kid. Don't yell at me, you maggot. Uh, Piece of shit. Yeah. You're just sitting around... In your parents' house, oh crying boy. about your little dog, playing this video is games, this is whining rough. about women on the internet, some lazy little. Maggot. I am not. I am not lazy. You're living with your parents and you don't have a job. How is that not lazy? Well, maybe I don't have a job, but I do work around the house. Casey, I mean, come on, come over here. You, you got to listen to that. Listen to this guy. This is great. What, Daddy? This is uh, just, just, uh, what is, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this guy, this guy's just Daddy, fucking. Daddy, you sound mad. What's wrong? I don't know. He's just talking about this little faggot kitty shit. And how he has to do, oh no, housework. I mean, and he's comparing that to when your grandma died. He's what? Yeah. I mean, I mean, he's he's talking about these heavy burdens. This, this he's call had to has face, gone great. You know, saying it's you know it's a heavy burden, kind of like when Grant. You know, you remember? Well, of course you remember. Chuck got a when boner lost from being called daddy. Oh my god! I know. I had to volunteer just to get my mind off it. This guy has nothing to offer you. I have a lot to offer her. Well, don't, like don't what? Don't yell at my father like, like that. What? He needs to respect him. He's a retired <laughs> marine. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Apologize. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm 90% uh, sure that Liquid is playing the dead. Nah. Liquid doesn't have that deep of a voice. I might be stupid, but I don't think Liquid has that deep of a voice. Unless this whole time that he's been like doing the, the, fucking, like, the Chris Chan voice. He has great vocal range. You are not good enough for my daughter. Chris, on the other hand, has my blessing. And if the internet is such a problem for you, I mean, just get Rollins. rid of it. I mean, you don't need it for anything. Go to a yeah, library. Yeah, well, I have Chris, Chris paid attention to this, and Chris went on to, to live a successful life going to the library and reading a lot of books. A bunch of times on the internet, and I do go to libraries. I read a lot of books. Really? What was the last book you read? The last book I read was To Kill a Mockingbird. It's high school shit. Oh. Casey read that as a freshman in high school. Yeah. I, you know, I think the last book Casey read was last week. You know, she reads books like you probably stuffed candy down your throat. God damn it. I stuff vegetables down my throat. I stuff green beans. I stuff broccoli. I stuff corn. I stuff carrots. Wow. <laughs> Remember when you said that this girl was a good influence? This might have taken it a little too far with this one. You know what? You're right. <laughs> but you know, some of the things that she did say were right. And hell, some of the things that Matthew is saying, even though like a lot of it is very, very radical, it's um it's it's right. Like Chris, get a job, you know, Chris like 
you do not offer much you do not offer anything it's like i understand th tough love but damn this is brutal this isn't even this this whole audio conversation is not tough love at all this is just trolling and like tra traumatizing this is just ridiculous i can't believe i'm talking to someone who's so naive <laughs> you just cross a line you just cross a line by saying the word naive Come on, Miha, dude. What me. line? He just really ticked me off right there when you said that. What are you going to do about it? Oh, no, he's going Nothing to go anime. Nothing at the moment. Because I can't really do anything. I'm not right there in front of you now, am I? I'm talking to you over the phone. The only thing I can do right now is let you know that you just crossed the line. You are already I dead. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you trying to threaten me? You trying no, to threaten an ex-marine? You've done it now. No, turn Super Saiyan. <laughs> I am not threatening you. I am in no position to threaten an ex-marine. And I understand that. And I respect you as such. Okay, so tell me why exactly you aren't naive. You know, why, why is this crossing the line so much? Because it's insulting my intelligence. You made me feel anger. I, mean, I imagine him doing this intelligence to me. this whole time. Well... I'll just say that uh, this has bar. been the most experiencing <laughs> conversation, and uh, I wish you a pleasant evening. Take care, Mr. Devoria, and stay safe. And please give my most fondest regards to Casey as well. I love her, and I care about her very much. Don't you hang up on me. What, when did I, I say that this conversation was over? Well, you could say the insult, and I'm getting tired of the insults. I feel like I need to go take a shower and uh, get ready to this w chris this is real actually that's fine you know you can go whine and you know you can weasel your way out of this you don't even deserve my daughter i mean what what, what are you going to do after this you know what are you going to do tomorrow you're going to get up and play video games again you, you know what casey's going to do she's going to go to school and she's going to call chris back that's what she's going to do well that's what you think i'm she's proud of do. chris you do not control her because you know, and you know why she's gonna do that? Because because he's the one she wants. I see. You know, I, I have to congratulate you though, because you totally did a great job at getting Casey and Chris back together. <laughs> that's good. That's a good Seriously, line. Chris, how could you? Oh, bro. You've been so insulting to my father and everything. That... Chris would never have done this. Maybe I did make a wrong decision. No oh, boy. I I don't think I can do this. <sighs> Maybe I was thinking of him all along. Maybe I just displaced things. I just, I can't believe you would do this. You know what? I don't want you. <sighs> I don't want this. I don't need this right now. I have so much going on with finals and everything. Yeah, my dad's right. You're going to have to do something huge. I mean, you can't even work on the comic you promised me. You made me a stupid little big planet thing. Where the hell's the comic, Chris? I bet you're not even going to finish the comic. I, 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 you can't I, even no, finish no. it tonight. Or anything. You can't do anything. This is tough. I can so. Well, obviously you're not motivated enough because you haven't done anything like that. You promised me tons of things. You never keep your promises. You just sit around playing video games. You made a stupid little big planet thing for me. I mean, come on. All I wanted was you just to pay attention. You don't even pick up the phone anymore because of the trolls, because of the stress. I can't do this. I, I want a real man. Oh, boy. You see, you can't even say anything. Dad, I think you're totally right. Yeah. Don't don't tell him where we live. I don't want my name and number. See, look what you've done, Chris. Look what you've done. I'm sorry. It's not like you're going to do anything to make up for it. So you know what? I don't even care. Dad, you can do whatever. Yeah. That's the, that's all he could say. I'm done. I don't want to get in trouble for beating the shit out of this faggot anyway. <sighs> I'm going to go. This is too much for me. You you can finish this off, Dad. I kind of hate her. I'm sorry. You don't say, David. This is terrible. So, what are you gonna do now? Wow, that's a cold end.